there everybody and uh, welcome to another video um, on this one I have this uh, this is a Vauxhall Safira 2015 and um, I need to change this uh, actuator here this is for the for the lock the little lock that goes up and down here um, I couldn't make a video of how to remove the whole thing but hopefully uh, I'll just uh, show you what I did and then maybe you'll be able to to remove your door panel as well if you need to do some work in here it might not be the lock as me it could be something else but basically this here is the panel um, this panel has uh, one two three four um, four and five Torx screws. Um, you need to remove the cover that's here. It, there's a little cover here. It's just plugged in and it, it basically pops out from these uh, clips. But it is a little bit hard to Can be a little bit hard to pull it out but it, it, it comes out just need to be uh, patient and a little bit careful in this uh, in that case that the little silver pin came out but it doesn't matter that just plugs into there so once you remove this and also also this little cover is in there that also pops out so I just use a, a flathead screwdriver to pop this out and also I had to wedge a flathead screwdriver along here and started slowly prying this off you could use those uh, plastic tools that so you avoid damaging any of the trim um, this you don't need to remove um, once you get that off and this off you can undo the little Torx screws and also the one that's on the side there down there once you have all of those off which are basically these ones and they are uh, T20s um, you can then begin to pull the door the, the, um, the door card off but uh, it is plugged in on this uh, on these little clips here so as you can see in this case these clips remained in there and the door came out uh, the panel came off the clips rather than the clips coming off the door um, some of the clips did come out with the door but um, they are quite hard to to remove um, they're very very much plugged in there quite quite hard so they come off of basically there and there this one is come out with the with the panel and and the rest the rest didn't the rest remained in there um, well once you pull this out basically so that will be sitting there and you will pull it out this way then what you want to do is uh, pull this side up up that way and then this whole thing will come off and it will be held in you will have the electric window switch plugged in there it's just clipped on really um, you just need to lift 
this little plastic clip there and that will release the uh, connection. Let's have a look at that. So just lift the clip here and that will release that. And also you will have this connected to the, um, the lever that opens the door. And again, this is uh, this will be in that way sort of thing. You just need to lift this bit up to release it, and then you pull this out. And uh, well, that's basically how you can uh, remove the the inner panel. Um, the actual lock is held in by uh, three Torx screws, uh, T30s, T30s, which go here. Um, but also the lock is got um, the lever that comes down from the the metal stick that comes down from the handle from here so this peels off basically um, I loosen these 10 mil bolts for the windows and another 10 mil bolt here for this frame here So I can move it and wiggle the lock about, but also there is this metal, can be seen or not here, this is for the, for the door, opening and closing the door. And that is basically inside of here and locked into place um, so you need to open this yellow clip to allow it just opens like so and that releases that and then you'll be able to pull this down and the whole thing will come down it's a bit fiddly and also the you need to unplug it um, the plugging system is fairly simple. You just pull this red, um, this red bit here. So that'll be down. You pull it up, and uh, it will push this out. Um, And that's pretty much it. Um, it's a shame I couldn't really film it, and I'm not gonna have time to film it, fitting it back. I'm just waiting for the new part to come. Um, but obviously, removing the panel gives you access to the window and stuff. Try not to damage this soundproofing. You just need to unstick it. It's a little bit stuck on the door but if you do it carefully it comes out uh, all right without damaging um, and that's it so I hope this video helps and uh, thank you for watching